everybody? We just got done filming the video of the CLS 550 Mercedes Benz. Now we are doing our second. Well, the the darn doors locked on me. Well, we're going to do our second video of the silver S550 that we have. So, you know, this car, I haven't advertised it too much yet, but it just came in last week. It's a beautiful vehicle. It is a 2007 Mercedes S550. There's the key. And uh, it's right over here outside. So we were gonna walk through the shop, but now we're walking over here. And we're gonna see what a older 07 S550 is all about. You know, how many miles is on it, what it looks like, and really realistically here, try to see how the condition has held up on a high-end Mercedes-Benz. Oh gosh, what, 11 years later now? That's about right. Stay with us. Crank this high-end luxury car up. Put the foot on the brake. All right. This is definitely uh, supposedly luxury. Yeah. You know, I don't know about y'all, but personally, I think luxury car a luxury car in the year 2019 to me now is probably going to be a tesla yeah teslas are nice they're pretty they got big screens in them with technology and they're quiet this first off it stinks on the inside there's a stench in here and it's loud and it vibrates and well, gosh, it's 11 years old, right? Yeah. So, I mean, let's give the car some kind of credit, right? It is a Mercedes-Benz, and people seem to uh, classify Mercedes with luxury. I classify BMW maybe with a sporty car feel, Audi sporty car feel. Mercedes, I guess it could be luxury, right? Yeah, this is luxury, they say. Anyways, a Bentley luxury, right? Oh, but we got a lot of vibrating going on. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to be looking at this car. Um, it is for sale, of course, but we got to run it through the shop and get it checked out. I really wanted to check it out, though, before all that happens. So at some point here, y'all can see the before video and then the after video when it's up front of the lot. Now, right now, my, uh, my sunglasses are starting to fog up, meaning it's hot inside the car. So let's cut the air conditioner on. If it works. Okay. So that's down low. Fans are coming on. Okay. Um, okay, there we go. Fans are blowing. It really does got a stench, a smell in here. I don't know what it is, but it's got a smell about it. Um, I'm sure that smell can be removed at some somehow, you know, but um, It's a uh, the smell is kind of like a mechanical type smell. It's not a smell of like um, food or mold or or uh, Some kind of like smoking cigarettes. It's not that it's a uh, Just kind of and it, maybe it's not even mechanical. Maybe it's just like a smell of like an old car That's the smell if you know what I'm talking about older cars get a smell anyways, let's let's see what we can do All right, everybody, so here's the outside of the car We're gonna kind of walk around the outside and take a look see what what's going on with it and um, Definitely got something going on here where that's not lining up properly but the headlights look great they're nice and shiny they almost look like they're brand new fog lights definitely got some damage going on there where yeah that's real glass down there it's not plastic so that's why it doesn't fade out but um and now the engine is starting to make some weird sounds and I'm smelling something hang on 
the engine started kind of idling low and then picking back up. Now it's definitely got to be a big motor under there. Let's just go ahead and look at the motor while we can. Ooh, man, that's pretty, pretty serious right there. Ah. Well. There's actually a red latch up under there, okay? Um, the mileage on the Mercedes is 168,737, so it's pushing almost 170,000 miles. Let's see if those cooled seats actually work. And um, that's definitely got to get fixed at some point soon. There she is. So that's the V8. It takes Mobile One oil. Actually pretty clean under here. Um, I do smell uh, antifreeze right now. So it's got a little bit of a, it, a lot of antifreeze smell going on. So obviously, you know, and again, folks, the car's in the back right now. It's getting worked on. Um, our mechanic is going to run through this car and, and see what exactly is going on with it. And if it needs things fixed, we're going to do the best we can to get it fixed so we can put it up front for one of y'all to buy it. Um, so, but with that smell going on right now, I'm going to just go ahead and shut her down because I don't want to take any chances. You know, it, it's, uh, it's not my car and, uh, I don't want to have any situations going on with it. But before we do real quickly, the AC does work. It's blowing nice and cold in here. The cooled seats are working right now, which is nice. The screens look great, all digital, running good. That one over there looking good. So all that's going great, but um, I don't want to take any chances with that strong smell of antifreeze under there. It's kind of a sweet smell. And uh, anyway, so that's probably what I was smelling coming through here. You got your analog clock. Looks like someone had something up on here at one point. Again, shame on people that drive high-end cars and, and just do things like that, you know? Have respect for the vehicle, folks. I'm serious. You know, if you need to have some kind of system or something to hold your phone up, get you a suction cup mount up on the window. Don't be putting no double-sided sticky tape stuff up on a dash, you know? Again, um, looks like it's got some kind of remote in here to something. But this is your phone. All that. Um, anyways, you know, it's not perfect. It's an older car, you know, and that's what you got to remember, folks. You know, these are pre-owned vehicles. This is the second one we have on the lot right now. We have a white S550 up front. It's doing the same exact thing on the armrest. You know, it's like, come on, man, you're a luxury car, Mercedes. Why are you... Well, good gracious, somebody really liked uh, uh, safety pins, didn't they? They sure did. But, you know, it's like Mercedes-Benz is high-end luxury. Why make a car that's going to do this kind of thing? all these years later i don't know the wood trim is very nice on the steering wheel though it feels great it's not worn out so that's nice um, all the buttons look pretty good just normal wear and tear again 168,000 miles on there so you know like i explained uh you do have power windows power door locks power mirrors heated and cooled seats harman kardon stereo um, the seats are actually in good shape in here. They're black ebony leather, perforated. There's no rips or tears on either side, so that's definitely a positive. The, uh, the interior on this car is actually a little bit nicer than the CLS 550, the white one over, over there. So um, I'm liking that. Door is definitely, this is a long wheelbase car. I mean, look at that. Holy mackerel. This is what you get chauffeured around in. You know, it's almost the size of a limousine, really. It's huge. It's a big car. We call it a land yacht in the car business. But anyways, back seats are in great shape. These looking good. Rear air vents. Um, definitely looks like this has got something going on here, don't it? Yeah, so something's broken down there. Um, it definitely has got to get cleaned, and we'll get it cleaned. Uh, that's not wanting to... Uh, open right now because it, it opens up but something's stuck um, I don't know if it's ever been smoked in or not headliners falling down right here by the uh, sunroof 
the mirror right there there you go you know realistically folks if you're wanting to buy a mercedes from us the one to buy on our lot right now is the white s550 up front with around 80,000 miles for 13.5 i know the this one and the one up front there are going to be like half the price or less but again you know if you want to get something that's already that's really well taken care of you may want to roll with that s550 if you want something now because it could take a week or two to get these ready or you can just come by and put the pressure on us and we'll speed the process up quickly as can to get this car ready for you but um anyways very nice car got the uh plenty of storage that's for sure okay not bad it's i mean hey it's a mercedes people love them they really do I'm not an expert on them, that's for sure. But again, folks, if you know a little bit about this car, please share your knowledge with us in the video. And uh, go down in the comment section and write up a little review there and let us know what you think. Um, if you're looking to buy it, that's why we're showing it right now. It's got uh, drilled rotors, AMG wheels, uh, tires, got plenty of tread on the front. And 275 40ZRs in the back. Those are by Pirelli, plenty of tire tread on the back. So there you go, that's your S550 in silver. Please stay tuned with us on the channel. We'll be having a review on the uh, Mini Cooper coming up and, uh, and we'll have a updated video on this coming up probably after Thanksgiving when the car gets cleaned and serviced and all. So thanks for watching everybody, have a blessed day. We'll see you soon, I'm Chad and I'm signing out.